Uh, hello YouTube, back once again with my Sleepy Hollow reviews, and here we are with episode 2, uh, Whispers in the Dark, and, uh, yeah, let's talk about this episode, plot of the episode is, uh, well, Ichabod's moved in with Abby as her, as his, uh, as her roommate for a while, and, uh, gotta wonder what happened in that cabin, though, and, uh, he, um... I digress. And then, uh, and, uh, Ichabod is just trying to save the building that they like to work in because, uh, he has very few ties left to his, um, his, um, his, uh, time of history, um, and, um, then, uh, the Witch Pandora summons a monster, and they fight it, and that's the episode, and, uh, I can say it's uh, another enjoyable episode, uh, still, uh, still the chemistry between Tom Knight, Mice, and Nicole Brendan's always tons of fun, uh, d definitely got quite a, uh, a lot of good lines out of them, um, my favorite, uh, my favorite, well, probably my favorite being is when they're just saying, like, hey, can we, how do we fight this demon, then, and then Kabot's like, well, do you have, like, an arrow, like, an ancient Babylon arrow, like, like, blessed by, like, a high like priest of the fourth century and she's like no no I do not Ichabod I thought that was really funny um that was really funny um uh the witch Pandora still not how sure how I feel about her as a villain but st still she has been given the many lines yet so I'm still I don't have much to say or complain about really um about her um, anything else, really? Uh, well, the, and the nice thing is they figure out at the end of the episode that she's the villain, un unlike John Noble, where it was, for, like, half the season, it was just like, no, I'm good, no, no, really, trust me, I'm good here, um, but, um, but, uh, so there's that, and, um, oh, and you can also learn that she can pull things out of the Pandora's box, you gotta wonder if she's ever gonna send the Headless Horseman on them again, because uh, I'd be happy to see the Headless Horseman against, uh, Ichabod and Abby again, it's been a while since we got one of those scenes, um, so there's that, and, uh, all the stuff with Jenny, and I forget what the office, the, the, uh, the supernatural officer that got killed at the end of the first episode of the show. Um, uh, none of that was per particularly interesting, uh, just, it, it happened, um, is all I can really say. And, uh, anything else to really say about this episode? Uh, oh yeah, and then there's also Betsy Ross, uh, this character, this, this is, this is someone out of a completely... Uh, d d like at least when they did the colonial aspect in the sh in the past you scenes, they at least it's not turn levels of like trying to make it seem realistic, but there was seemed to be somewhat of an effort to get the like language down right. Uh, in, th in this episode, though, I, at least they're kind of going balls to the walls with it. Like she's just like she's just like when she sees Ichabod when she's like being an undercover spy, she's just like, "What the hell are you doing here, Crane?" I do not think that was a term they used back then. I may be wrong though, but uh, yeah, she's still a lot of fun though. De be definitely feeling having a very swashbuckling pirate kind of feel, uh, still waiting for her to show up in the modern time, because God knows that's gonna happen, um, and, uh, yeah, besides that, just another enjoyable episode of Sleepy Hollow, uh, YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.